I'm gonna go to the Java Beach uh, Cafe, get a couple of donuts for breakfast, and take the L down, and go see the new train phase terminal for all the transportation that's in San Francisco that had all the problems that you guys are seeing now. San Francisco's brand new Trans Bay Transit Center will be closed for three more weeks after cracks were found in the building's support beams. As John Blackstone reports, it's the latest problem for the transit hub that's been billed as the Grand Central Station of the West. San Francisco's sleek new $2.2 billion bus terminal just six weeks after its high-profile ribbon cutting is out of service, displacing 35,000 daily commuters. It's, I think, fortunate that the whole thing didn't collapse, including the bus deck below. It's that serious. The whole thing It's a collapse. serious problem to have a major beam like that crack. The building was closed after workers found cracks in two 80-foot-long steel beams. Structural engineer Joe Maffei is not involved in the project. This is the point of maximum demand on the beam. The troubled terminal here has an equally troubled neighbor just next door, the Millennium Tower, now famous as San Francisco's Leaning Tower. The 645-foot-tall luxury condominium project is tilting about 14 inches to the northwest and sinking about 18 inches since it opened in 2009. A uh, new problem is facing the troubled Transbay Transit Center, and this time it is up above. The rooftop park needs a costly fix, believe it, it or not. Yeah, X-Files film a tear joins us okay. to explain it's up on top it's down, it's below. down below what's I mean, going on oh, okay okay you know san francisco's unofficial model yeah. was the city that knows how yeah well eventually. we certainly know how to screw up okay <laughs> and in this case it's the 2.2 billion dollar trans bay terminal that's right b is in billion it's big it's bold and it's turned out to be one big headache the latest problem as we just heard the rooftop garden pathway. It was installed at a cost of over $600,000, but the eco-friendly decomposed mm -hmm. granite walkway, well, it began crumbling even before the center opened its doors. And it's turning the four-block long park walk into a path full of potholes. This is my breakfast. Two donuts and two bananas. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you, it is a new transit tunnel. As you can see, this is still being walked on, I guess. I'm gonna go walk around and see what I find interesting and uh, take some pictures and more. The closed x rails up to the pulp that's not open yet. So, I think this is where they were having issues with one of the beams. They're here on the next tree. I'm not show where exactly that is but it's here somewhere so this is from the side follow to the market we're gonna go take a look inside wow this place is huge Like, I have absolutely no clue. Okay, apparently the pocket is open. What is this? Is this? <laughs> oh, my God. This is all stuff that's closed. So the guy said the park wasn't open, but the sign says it is, so... We're gonna go find out for ourselves. No, I'm pretty sure it's open. That guy does not know what he's talking about.
Oh. So it was like balancing. <laughs> Not bamboo. <laughs> this really is like a oasis away from the city. Like, other than a giant skyscraper was coming up beside you, you don't realize you're in the city at all. So this is interesting. It's a fire exit, but it has like grates on it. So I guess they want the vine to like intake this, other than the doors. Pretty cool. So as buses come through while it shoots off, it's pretty cool. It, the problem is, so bus is running yet, so that kind of sucks. So one thing that's really stupid, they have a gondola where it only takes people up to the park. It doesn't take you back down, so I have to go down, ride it up, and then go back down. This should be fun. Waiting to go ride the gondola back off. So I just came up on the gondola. You can't go down because they don't want the people standing up here, which don't think really uh, matters. But I guess because it's like in the walkway over there, they don't want people there. So yeah, well, I couldn't get video because we were crammed in there like sardines, but it's pretty cool to ride. Like a little observation park up there where you can hear and like look over the whole park, but you just can't get to it apparently. Here it is up there in the middle, the main part of the park down here. And that's when the bridges that apparently come in here. There's just a group of people walking up there on it. And I think the plan is to bring the buses in and out of there at some point. Not really sure. I don't think there will be, but you never know. That's this little vending machine out here in the middle of like nowhere. That's actually really cool. It's a vending machine with a bunch of like little cell phones saying to this car. <laughs> okay. Devils have good boats. So look at all the art they have up in this building. That's one of the buildings here. There's a ferry building. That's cool. So look at all the cool artwork they got going down here. I like this, this is cool. And then they have this, this hill. The fitness thing, I guess, is going here too. Look how massive this place is. Some more artwork like everywhere. It's all along here. Look at the jellyfish. This is like perfect for like an art studio. That's how they did that. That's awesome. It's just this like whole entire place. It's like out. Oh, like it's so cool. And I'm sure the other side's all like this too. So. Oh, that's the coolest thing I've seen. Here is some more. And 
that is cool. <laughs> don't know why I like that. I just do. It, it just kind of like abruptly ends here though. I don't kind of like that. So sure with that. So that was the Salesforce Transit Center. I hope you guys enjoy it. As you can see, here's a yellow part of the buildings, are some of the shops. That is offices and stuff, I think. And then right here is Bolt, and we have a highway over there. We are waiting for some of the other guys to come out, and I'm primarily going to be showing this video on Operator Logan. So if you guys want to see that, the link will be in the description. But I will put some clips in now, and then I'll check in with you guys after the tour. I'm not going to walk out there because it's all live track. You can see that the shiny rail is down there and up there, but not in the middle. If you look, it's shiny like down in the flame because the wheel is getting pushed up and not putting the weight on the actual rail. And the shop door, and now we're taking over the Olive Garden. We're over here, we're over here, we're back there, more over there. A pit stop at the hotel, and then we're all going to go venture out and do our own thing. So as you can see, we were just on the F line with uh, operator that was popping the accelerator the whole entire time he was in the street in private right away he didn't do it he was okay but on the street he kept popping so he's on the Toronto car <laughs> Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heart strings. From the moment I saw him, I fell. Chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump went the brake. 